So the next one is subtraction. Now, in the last example, I showed you guys how to or why it's important to kind of use the, opera, uh, the parentheses. And this is why. Here, if you're subtracting, that's basically saying h of x minus f of x. Right? So now we're going to subtract them. But, ladies and gentlemen, please use parentheses. In addition, we didn't really need the parentheses. But here, if you don't use the parentheses, you're going to get it wrong. Because this is incorrect. This just says 1 minus x squared. You're not subtracting x squared. You're subtracting x squared plus 4, right? Then you're subtracting the whole function. So put it in parentheses. Then you can realize that, oh, you're subtracting x squared and you're subtracting a 4. Or you're really just applying like the distributive property here. So it's 2x plus 1 minus x squared minus 4. Now I can combine like terms and rewrite it in descending order. So I have a negative x squared plus 2x. And then 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, um, And again, guys, our domain here, all real numbers, domain, all real numbers, subtract them, you have another quadratic, which is, again, just going to be all real numbers. And that's because we know our parent functions so well, and we know what the domains are of those functions. So we don't really 